Okay, here we go. I'm Chris. Let's do it. Let's format it up. All right, so we go to our classic warrior horses site. And our horses, you know, they have a lot of things to manage, a lot of things to do. Uh, one of those things is invasions, right? So they've got a nice SharePoint list to track their invasion progress. And they've got campaigns all across the world. So you can see here they're kind of tracking it, but this is boring, right? So we want to spice it up just a little bit, right? How do we make this more engaging so people really want to be involved in these invasions? So one of the things we've looked at a number of times in a number of different ways is icons, right? So I'm going to format this column. Come down here to advanced mode so I can write it myself. And I'm just going to very quickly throw one in here, right? So we're going to say Elm type. Capitalize that. We're going to call this span. That sounds great. And then we're going to you know, add a attributes. And with our attributes, we can do this nice little thing. Like add icon name. And here, this time, we're going to type in thing body, which we have to know is a dog. All right, so when we preview that, oh, we've got a little dog. And just so we can see that a little better, let's say style. And let's throw a little bit of styling on that. In this case, we're going to say font size, and we're going to make it huge. 48 pixels, we'll preview that. There, now we can see our dog. Uh, and that's exciting. And again, we've shown this a number of times. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with icons. We've got a ton of samples on them. Uh, one of the videos we showed, a uh, demo, I don't know, a couple months ago, was this idea of icon overlays, right? You can come in here. You can put icons on top of each other, add some colors. You, know, you start to get in, in interesting emoji territory. Ooh, it's pretty exciting. But at some point, you start to wonder, like, why don't I just use an emoji, right? That's what we're going to talk about today. How exciting. So what if instead of saying an icon name here, what if I got rid of that and I said text content? Just to make sure that's working, we'll say the word dog. Ladder comma. We'll preview that. There's the word dog. But what if I want to do something different? Now, if I'm on a Windows machine, I can hit Windows, period. And I get these lovely things, right? And so I can pick dog directly. All right, so let's pick a dog. Let's preview that. Bam, I got a pretty dog. Very exciting, right? So now you can start to use emoji directly inside your formats. Whether you should or shouldn't, I'll leave that up to you. The idea is here you can do a lot with that, right? Because they're actually text, you see that in the format. And you can even do stuff like this, right? You can write your formulas with it. So I can say plus at current field. You know, again, maybe don't do that. The idea is that this opens up some new opportunities, new windows for you. Because uh, even though there's nearly 2,000-some-odd uh, icons available to you, they don't cover everything. I mean, for instance, if I try to type horse there, nothing. No matter how many times I ask for that, no horse. So, again, to get the emoji thing, right, Windows, period, right, that'll open up in any program. There's all sorts of uh, lovely emojis in there. Okay, but let's not have these in here. Let's take a look. What can we do? What can we use these in a better way? All right, so let's close this guy. Now, let's say I've got my phase here. Now, I've gone over to the uh, formatting repo, right? And I've gone over here, and I'll go to the home page. Now, we have this nice link over here if you haven't seen this before. If you click this, make it a little friendlier to get to things. And one of the things we have is this idea of groupings. So if we go to groupings, and we go down to category, you can see we've got this category called icons. Look at all these samples we have that feature using icons. Now, converting these to use emojis isn't too hard. In fact, that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to grab this number icon progress bar. Okay, so I've got this. This is a nice one uh, down here by Julian. Uh, and if I go ahead and I just grab this right here, I'm just going to copy and paste directly out of the browser. All right, click on to copy that sucker. I'm going to here. I've got my phase, right? So I'm trying to track what phase of the invasion are we in. I'm going to format this column. Again, switch to advanced mode. I'm just going to paste that in. Bam. Preview that. Well, that's nice, right? Now that's using these uh, icons, right? These circle ring and the Skype circle check. Now, if I wanted to switch that up, and obviously I do, uh, we're going to take that and we're going to make this a little more horse friendly. All right, so if we go up here to the top, we'll just find where it kind of starts. First, I'm going to just want to make it slightly bigger so we can see it. And then I'm going to come down here. So instead of icon name, that's a nice formula, right? This is how we would determine what icon it should be, right? So if it's past step one, show the circle with the check and all that stuff. And we've got a class to make those nice green colors and everything else. We can get rid of the class altogether. 
And in fact, we're going to just add text content here, right? So we'll come over here, zoom up a little text content. In this case, we're going to take that same formula that we just had down here for icon name, and we're going to copy it out. I'm actually going to just eliminate icon name. We don't need that anymore. And so in this case, I'm going to paste that in here. So it's the same logic, right? So if it's less than one, instead of circle ring, though, now I want to use an emoji. So in this case, you know, what's better than an egg, right? So we're going to use an egg. And then over here, we're going to say, use a horse if it passed that, right? So let's see, we've got a nice horse. Look at that, the emoji respect horses. That's enough. We preview that. We suddenly have an egg or a horse, depending on what stage you're in. All right, so converting that from icon name is too hard. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and take all of these down here, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just go ahead and paste them a couple of times. Three, four, five. That sounds great. Get rid of that last one. And then, of course, we just say five, four, three. There's no, there's no rocket launch or anything, unfortunately. But there we go. We'll preview that. Look at that. Now we've converted it from using our icon names to using a beautiful, uh, lovely uh, emoji there. So that's cool. That's one way to do it. Now I'm going to show you a little something else uh, with a bonus tip here. So let's go ahead and save that. Close this one. Let's go over here our techniques. So we've got here a multi-choice uh, you know, column here. And you can see all the different techniques we're using in the invasion. And again, wouldn't that be much nicer with even more emoji? You always can have more emoji, and that's a lie. Also, so what we do here is I'm going to grab another format. So if I go back here, so that was a good one. But what if I want to grab, uh, let's see, the uh, multi-choice icons, All right? So you can see we have this nice one where we're showing drink preferences and a nice kind of table. Again, I'm going to grab that, copy that, and we'll go back here to Warrior Horses Techniques Column Settings. Format this column, and we're going to go ahead and paste this one. And let's preview it. Now, obviously, we don't have the same kind of styles here. So one of the things I also wanted to show to make this even easier um, is a tool that I think we've shown a couple of times by Sergey Sergeyev. Um, it's a Chrome extension, SP Formatter. I'm just going to turn that on. So if you guys haven't seen this, it's going to blow your minds. Turn that on. Bam. Now I've got full, full formatting here using the Monaco editor. Right? So I get IntelliSense. I get all sorts of stuff. I get instant preview. Right? So as I change things, it starts to just work. In fact, I can hit Control F here, and I get my Find and Replace. All right, so if I want to say, yeah, we're not using water, we're using stabbing. All right, we can do that, and I'll just go ahead and replace all of those. Very excited now. You start to see it recognizes what it was. Uh, so very, very cool stuff. So I can do the kind, same kind of stuff I did before, right? We've got the icon name, but instead I want to convert that uh, to use emojis instead. So one of the things I can do is I can add a text content here. Well, let's get rid of the icon. We don't need an icon anymore. Let's get rid of that guy. And let's add our text here. All right, so our text content. In this case, we're going to add um, Windows Windows period, right? And we got this, and we're talking about stabbing, so that's a, that's a knife for sure. By the way, if you start typing, this thing will search. Uh, you can search nice and easily through that. So now we've got a knife. Right, but it's always showing the same way, right? Because our we're no longer are we able to apply those colors. So that's one of the limitations in emoji. It allows us to have lots of multicolors here, but we don't get some of that same theme support here. So what if we took this same uh, formula, right? And instead of applying it as a class, now we come here to our style attribute, and we do an opacity, all right? So we'll do an opacity here. And in this case, we'll paste that same one in here, but obviously we don't need the to do any of this class building here. And we're going to say if it has stabbing, right, then we're going to say an opacity of 1. And if it doesn't, we'll say an opacity of, say, uh, 0.15. There we go. So now we can see that we can actually use this stuff in a really nice way. So now I can go through and I can kind of change all these out as needed. So I'm going to do the same thing where I just grab this, and I'm going to just swap it out here. So let's just get rid of all these other ones. Bam. Okay. Well, and I, okay, so two, three, four, what do we got? Five of them? Yep, five. Here's the last one. So now we got all knives everywhere. That's not quite what we wanted, right? So again, it's really easy to just fix this. So I'm going to just change this to exploding. All right, and we'll change this part to exploding as well. So now, what represents 
a good explosion. So if I type this and I start typing bomb, let's see. Yep, there's bomb, right? So I just type in bomb. There we go. Now I've got a nice explosion right there. And we'll do our next one here, which is seduction, right? Used by horses all over the world. <laughs> Sorry, made myself laugh. All right. Let's go up here and uh, we'll grab a nice one. We'll say kiss. There's a beautiful lips, beautiful horse lips. Imagine that. Moon don't stand a chance with horse lips on the case. All right. So then we come down here and we're going to say bribery. And we'll do bribery again. And of course, we got to pick a cool one for bribery. So we'll type in money. All right. We've got a bunch of different money options. Let's choose this guy right here a money bag. That makes sense. And then our last one, right? So instead of stabbing, we've got robots, right? So we'll come down here. Now, this is actually one area where there is an icon for robots. Uh, but in this case, we're still going to use the emoji, right? So we'll say robot. There it is. Bam. Just like that. And you notice it's been previewing the whole time and didn't have to do anything. Uh, and one of the frustrating things I want to also show uh, that this, this SP formatter helps solve, right? So when this is turned off, if you randomly somewhere up there, you remove something, maybe you've got an extra column somewhere, it just tells you intervalid column form ideas. And how am I supposed to find that in this you know, fairly complex format? I just turn that on. I can see I've actually got red over here. Come down here. It highlights it. It even tells me trailing comma. All right, so I can just grab that, and then everything works again. I get my buttons back. It auto previews. Pretty, pretty sweet. So I highly recommend this. I don't generally show this in the call um, just because it is an extra step to install this. Um, it's, it takes like 10 seconds, but I want to show people how you do things out of the box. But I think it's really important uh, to know that an awesome tool like this is available. It's free. It installs in Chrome, no problem. Um, in fact, you can find that over here. Um, I'll have a link at the end here. We'll paste in the chat for SP Formatter. Uh, go check this out. Sergey's been on the call a number of times. Uh, we should probably get him to, to come here and demo this a little further as well. Now, okay, so all that to say... We got all sorts of beautiful emojis now, and wow, now our invasions can proceed um, wonderfully, right? Things are nice and cutesy in our SharePoint list, which is what horses love. All right, so we come back here. Uh, I will say uh, emojis do have their place. For instance, we use them in the, uh, you see a little horse icon showing up here. We use them in the in GitHub all over the place for our labels and other ideas, right? So in small amounts, emoji can be very effective, right? So let's come back over here and review what we learned. So emojify your list, right? So again, lots and lots of icons, but they're very focused on, on specific business needs or brand icons or one million different arrows, um, document icons, that kind of stuff, right? And so there's going to be some gaps. What if you want to put a unicorn? What if you want to put a lizard, right? What about a pretzel or a taco? That's where emojis are going to be your friend, right? Uh, icons are monochrome, so again, you can get fancy with those overlays. You can do a lot. You can make them themable, uh, but if you really want to have lots of color, um, emojis are a pretty good way to do that. We've also gone over how to do SVGs and how to do images. Those are also very good options. So again, just use that Windows period. I'm sure there's something similar on a Mac, uh, whatever you're using. Uh, there are differences between devices, right? So for instance, uh, one that comes up a lot is a gun sometimes looks like a gun. Sometimes it looks like a squirt gun. Sometimes it looks like a dart gun, right? Maybe don't use gun. That's not a great suggestion. But the idea here is just be aware that there could be some device differences. So if you're doing something really, really specific with colors, I, I don't know why you're doing that. But if you're doing that, just be aware of that. And there is no theme support because these will just take on the color that they are. Okay. Finally, a warning. Let this slide be a warning to you. <laughs> pays, right? Don't do that. Uh, again, small amounts. Uh, that's true of list formatting in general, but especially when it comes to emojis. I know you want to get those millennials into your SharePoint. Uh, you really want them using that stuff. Uh, and that's cool, but uh, just use them sparingly. Okay? All right. So finally, here's some uh, resources here. There's the full documentation. Uh, I'll grab this here. I'm going to paste this in the chat. Everyone can go get that SP formatter because if you haven't gotten that, Definitely install that. Oh, that's gigantic. There you go, everybody. <laughs> that did not copy well. David, will you fix that? Thanks. All right, and then check out the samples I showed today. Again, converting those to emojis and any of the icons ones are pretty straightforward. Uh, you just switch out icon name and use text content and Windows period to get that to come up. Okay, that's what I got today. Thanks. Woo.
Thanks, Chris. This is actually really was magic. So the, the, the demo title was List Magic, but uh, each time you keep on surprising us with the flexibility and the capabilities that, and the things you can do with list formatting is just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff.